those are so important because thanks to this type of events, the roots of Saldefit was born. In 2007, three of three villages of our route, which uh, held historical reenactments, uh, began to talk and make the association. The first association of uh, the roots of Charles V was a national association and was focused on the last route, the last route from Laredo in the north of Spain to Cuacos de Juste here in Extremadura. So this is the reason why this type of event are so um, important for us. We have historical reenactments in a lot of countries. For, uh, the most um, uh, numeroso? Yeah. The, the country where there are the most number of these reenactments is in, is in Spain. Spain. We have 14 towns which held this type of reenactments. Okay? Here in La Vera, in the first week, uh, weekend of February, we celebrate our route of Empero. It's this. It's a hiking route which uh, join here the castle of Count of Ropesa with the monastery of Juste. The people who come with us in, in the training academy make the route. Uh, it's a hiking route that uh, we commemorate the last journey of the emperor, where he was to retire to the monastery of Juste. So, uh, and there are uh, some years we have more than 7,000 uh, participants. So it's an important event for us. A lot of tourism, a lot of people, okay? These are some examples. For example, this is the first land of the emperor in Tazones Villaviciosa, when the emperor came back to become Charles V in, in Spain. Charles, sí, Charles V, no, Charles I, sorry. For example, in Laredo, eh, Medina del Campo, this is ours, eh, the Isabel King, eh, Queen in, in Tordesillas, and this is eh, Medina de Pomar. Okay? In Italy, Corteo Histórico in San Severo, Pistioneri, Cava de Tirreni, and in Messina, con Juan de Austria, Messina, the landing. Belgium, this is the most huge, most important, most everything <laughs> event of the route. It's the Omega. We are talking about at the end of the presentation, okay? An ingante de Stropendragers. It's another. This is some numbers about participants. Uh, those uh, obviously uh, all these re reenactments are made with uh, citizen participation. Although you can book some services, the people of the towns and the cities as the as the um, are the um, protagonist. Okay, so this is the number of, the, for example, in Laredo, 2,100 of participants in a town more or less than 20, 20, uh, 20 or 30 inhabitants. Okay, for example, in Spain, 600 participants in a town of 300, more or less, uh, 3,000, sorry. So the number of the participants are very, very important. Fair, um, in the beginning of, for example, I, I am talking about our reenactment. Re 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 uh, for the beginning, it's like a fest. The people meet and dress like a carnival, like a, and began to, re, to make a theater and activities. But what happened? Now, all these uh, events has a historical base and rigor historico? Historical rigor? <laughs> yes? <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> has an historical rigor. Why? Because the dress, for example, are not the same than the image that we have in our head of medieval uh, carnival, for example. So we have an association in the north of uh, in Laredo, in the north of Spain, which have published a book how the people dressed in the 16th century. The women, the men, the high class person, the low high class person, and they make the, the pa patrones, I don't know the name? Patterns. Patterns to make the dress. So they um, offer their services in a free way, and they came, came here 
uh, uh, came another places and they make a uh, speech lectures to, to learn people how to do the dress, for example. And you don't have to, uh, when the event is taking place, you can wear glasses, watches, jewels, uh, modern things, okay? And we have, tam uh, we have two, the, um, uh, a professor of the University of Valladolid, the man who make our speech in, in, in for Lee, which is the assessor, the official historical assessor. Yeah, and they say how, for example, here we have um, uh, La Corte, the, yeah, the, court. the court of Charles V, for example, was 100 people. 7,500 were high class people, and only 20%. And the professor said, no, 20% were high people, and the rest are poor people. In the 16th century, the most of the population were poor. So this <laughs> now is the same. <laughs> so these are the things that make the difference between a historical reenactment and only a reenactment. Do you understand me? Yeah? yeah. Okay. What impacts do we have? Educational, of course. Tomorrow we are going to, to make the, the most example of the, the historical reenactments are a good uh, way to make a, or to learn history, in, in our case the history of Spain of our son. Um, uh, is a, a good uh, way to generate to generate opportunities. For example, in a to um, jobs. Yeah. Jobs. New jobs, for example. Here we have uh, dramatized, dramatized, oh, sorry, dramatized tours, <laughs> so, for example, or the artisan has a lot of opportunity to show uh, their, their job. So we have um, uh, new opportunities. Identity, of course, because the people of the town leave the, uh, the event, feel the event as, as yours. Uh, local impact, of course, think about our route in a town, Cuacos de Juste, is 800 um, inhabitants and during one weekend, uh, one or two weekends, because we, we have hiking routes um, and riding, right? right? But, no, yeah, by, by caballo, by, by horses. By one week is hiking and the other one with horses. Uh, during two weeks we have 1,000 people in the town, tourism, visitors, and of course, tourism. We have um, agreement with a travel agency, which we are going began to sell the, these all reenactments, selling a weekend or a week or whatever. Okay. So I want to show you a, a little video uh, to know the Omega, and then the um, ah, I want to so, to tell you that Omega in uh, 2019 was declared intangible heritage by UNESCO. So it's a, a great notice for a, a great news for us. So I want to show you a video and then um, Paul Legren, which is the president of uh, Omega Association, um, is, uh, make a little speech about the event. Okay? A ver si funciona. Yo la media hora no llego ni de coña. ¿Qué? Yo la media hora no llego ni de coña. Me lo ventilan 10 minutos. Se va a bien. Sí. Es como mola, ¿eh? Tenemos que ir a eso. Es el tuyo.
sorry. <laughs> Obviously, now with the pandemic, the event is closed, but uh, obviously, too, the budget from Omegan is not the same like, you, like ours, budget, of course. But um, one interesting thing that this event commemorates the arrival of Charles V to, or, or the, the entry of Charles V to the Clan Plus, and all the no novels, novels? No. novels was uh, waiting for him. So, in Brussels said that the people who participate are the descendants of this novel people. This interesting. <laughs> I don't know it's true or not. But. And this event, can you see all the people sit down around the, the, the Grand Place? The ticket, yeah. if I am not wrong, 75 euros. Mm -hmm. If I am not wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and it's all full of people, so the, the event... And how long is this show? Sorry? This show, how this long is... Uh, how long? I uh, think it's all a, week, a, a weekend in different places. No, but uh, if you pay the yes. ticket, you have the entrance and you stay inside, how long? I don't know, I think, I think you pay the ticket... Hours. Yes, more or less, but I think you have paid for all the week. All the weekend, okay. you have you have uh, in this place activities in the Grand Sablon. Mm -hmm. Another in two or three places there are activities. I think you pay the entry for all the weekend. I think I, I am not sure because I know I never been but there. There is the Grand Plus people who was sitting. Yeah, just watching. Looking, yeah, watching. I think some hours, not. Yes, a lot of hours. I think so. Yes, but I never been there. I want to, but. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to to put you the the interview. Oh no no, close close. Oi, I don't know. Leo, wait a moment. Where is the... We can even speak of the human chain. The first human particip participation is the meeting that takes uh, place between the participants where working group and elaborate the change to the processing and the scenario of the contest. On the sablon, where shooting the arbalistry and the grouping in the church. This citizen participation continue as we work in active partnership with the member of the city of Brussels and because we occupy the public space, the street, the square, and the wire park. We also meet 
who is the member of the city college, the Brussels police, the federal police, who approved us this over 30 hours and writing. The human partnership extends uh, to the city with uh, the protocol department, which work to organize, organize the arrival and the reception of the guests and the personality. With regard to the participation of more than 1,200 people who make up the procession, the procession and the cortege of Charles V. We work in pyramid system and uh, each participant know where, when and how to act according to the role assigned to him or her in the activity. The Amagain is uh, the historical reconstitution of the presentation of the infant Philip by his father to the people of Brussels. We will absolutely respect the history with precision. And we work with the director for the song and the light show on the contrast. This thing that you will be uh, Transmitted and uh, reviewed uh, in a meeting with the leader of the 40 heritage group, including the dancer, uh, the flag, the musician. Uh, they represent all the, the constituent body of uh, the time. In addition, it, with the participant of the Cour of Charles V, also receive a time set scenario. Everyone know how to walk around the Grand Place, where to sit, and how to uh, welcome Charles V when Charles V uh, arrived in the carriage in the Grand Place. Returning to the group leader, um, they will uh, in turn meet with the volunteer to pass on the timing, the place the procession and the role to be played so that everything is done in respect for the ceremony. With the older citizen participants, like the logistician under the supervisor of the director, um, who look after the accessories and above uh, all uh, the smooth uh, running of the activity in the backstage. Uh, like the steward, uh, to uh, for uh, look the safety of the spectator and the safety of the participant, uh, like the volunteer uh, who <coughs> their free time were there and uh, restore the up again heritage and the costumes, and finally, finally um, the scenes process um, who, uh, who maintain, uh, maintain the costume and uh, and made the new costume for the future. Um, the Amagang uh, is uh, very important uh, for, the, for the city and for the country. Um, everybody uh, likes to participate uh, at the Amagang every year. And uh, as president me uh, and uh, Amagang Brussels Eden, I proved to like this beautiful example of the citizenship, apolitical, and respect the origin of all participants. Thank you, and see you later. So, this was, he was Paul Legrand, the president of the Omegan. So, this is our best practice. Uh, as, you can, you, as, you, as you can see, without citizen participation, we can do anything of that. And I hope that you like it. And if you have any question, thank you. <laughs> Villages in La Vera where the number of the inhabitants is mm, lower than the number of the people you need for the reenactment. So, if, if we suppose that all the in inhabitants participate in the reenactment, then you have to like borrow other people from. No, no, no. The people who come to the to the event is bigger than the inhabitants. Okay. But no, but uh, the people who who participate in our reenactment is. 
I don't know, the core, maybe 1,100, more or less, 100. And it's all people from the area? From the area, yes. We, we work with um, a women association, a student association, with people from, the, from our region. Okay. Hmm. So, it's okay? We have five minutes to prepare the workshop. If you want to go to the bathroom, to, to take a breath, to whatever you want. Five minutes and they we came back, okay? Thank you.